ProRes RAW open gate recording on the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max combined with an anamorphic lens is a cheat code for cinematic videos. Just look at those stunning examples of recording in Apple ProRes RAW open gate combined with our free will anamorphic lenses, both 1.55x and 1.33x. And what is open gate recording? It means that we can record the entire sensor, which has the 4x3 aspect ratio, and in the iPhone's case, we have the 4224x3024 pixels. And here is your regular 16x9 Ultra HD image. And here is the open gate recording with the Freo 1.33x anamorphic lens. As you can tell, it's not as narrow as it used to be when using anamorphic lenses. And here is the regular recording in Ultra HD without a lens attached. And what's even cooler is that you retain the resolution and don't lose a single pixel when using an anamorphic lens plus open gate recording comparing to just adding the letter box. I'm not even talking about the anamorphic characteristics like the flares, distortion and softer corners. And here is the ProRes RAW open gate recording with 1.55x anamorphic lens and here is the image without the open gate recording. As you can tell it's pretty narrow. But guys you actually don't need to record in Apple ProRes RAW to record in open gate. You can set your color space to Rec. 709 in Blackmagic camera app and you'll be able to record in open gate even with older iPhones but your frame rate will be limited to 30 frames per second. And there is one more catch, guys, because the resolution is actually different, because in open gate with ProRes RAW, we get like 200 more pixels horizontally. And also the Rec. 709 color space contains a lot more post-processing, over-sharpening and all in all less dynamic range. That is why, guys, I do prefer to use Apple ProRes RAW open gate recording when using the anamorphic lenses, but still you can get pretty stunning results with the Rec. 709 and regular mode. You're just stuck to 30 frames per second or lower. And right here you can see the image which has not been disqueezed and you go to settings, then you go to camera, set the anamorphic disqueeze to the squeeze ratio of your anamorphic lens, in this case it's 1.55x, and now you get the proper disqueezed image. And yes guys, even if you shoot an open gate, the disqueeze works perfectly fine. And right now let's try to choose the Rec. 709 and go to the open gate mode, and as you can tell we have slightly different squeeze ratio, it means that in Rec. 709 the image is kinda a little bit squashed out. And then let's go back to the Apple ProRes RAW and then to open gate, and as you can see right now we have properly disqueezed image. And don't forget that to record in ProRes RAW you also need an external SSD and you go to Media tab, Save Clips 2 and you choose your external SSD as a source. Also do not forget that ProRes RAW recording as well as the open gate recording completely disables the stabilization, and that is why I prefer to use a gimbal or a tripod when I shoot in open gate, especially with anamorphic lenses, because you do need to keep the horizon leveled with them. And right now guys you can see different examples with different squeeze ratios 1.33x and 1.55x, as well as different flare colors like the golden flare, the neutral flare and the classic blue flare. And in my opinion the combination of open gate recording, ProRes RAW and anamorphic lenses makes stunning images. I wish Apple adds support for open gate in HEVC or H.265 codec and Apple Log, but as for now it's either Rec. 709 and up to 30 frames per second as I said, and this way you can use open gate on older smartphones or you can use the ProRes RAW recordings with crazy big data rates on the 17 Pro and Pro Max. And the SSD is obligatory in this case. To conclude, now you basically have two anamorphic lenses in one. One is for filming in 16x9 and another one is to film in open gate. More creative freedom is always great. Anamorphic filmmaking with your smartphone has never been better. Hope you did enjoy this video guys, see you in the next one. Take care.